Hello everyone. A very warm welcome to this wonderful session. Welcome to An Academy. In this session, we are going to start a new chapter from class 12 NCRT that is human reproduction. In this session, we will discuss about male reproductive system. Also later, we will discuss about female reproductive system also. The actions, pre-fertilization, fertilization, after fertilization and the embryonic development, everything we will study in this topic. So, without being any late, let me introduce myself. This is Sheikh Imran, MSc Zoology. I am a biology faculty having more than five years of teaching experience in competitive exams coaching like Karnataka set, AP Telangana M set in NCRT also. Also experienced as a teacher in International School of Qatar Country of Indian School. I am here to teach you biology subject for Karnataka set 2021. Regularly, we are dealing in an academy learning app also. You can join with us in regular sessions in an academy learning app by downloading from Play Store. You can download from Play Store, install in your Android phone, laptop or your personal computer, open and select your goal as Karnataka CET. Karnataka CET, then you will find Karnataka CET course, select with English language and verify with your phone number and your email ID. This is necessary for posting, commenting your doubts during live session. Without verifying with phone number and email, you cannot post your comments, so you cannot interact with the educator. So this is necessary for interacting with your educators. And after opening your An Academy Learning app, follow your favorite educator's profile. Once you follow your favorite educator's profile, there you will get all upcoming free live class notification. Also, you will get previously completed all topics. It helps you a lot for your complete preparation and you can share our profiles with your friends also. If you are watching for the first time, this is for you. These videos, what you are watching right now, these are completely free. If you like an academy, you can go for plus subscription with 12 months plan, which cost around 12,375. Six months plan, which cost around 10,125. And you can pay like per month EMI also. So this is wonderful opportunity to you. You can learn from home, right? Being a plus subscriber, you will get premium content at very low and affordable price. You will get structured live courses with dedicated live doubt clearing sessions. You will get quiz at regular and interval session for your self analysis. We already started batches for complete preparation. You can join with us in plus course. You will get test series, daily practice papers, full length mock test for complete analysis. Single subscription for unlimited access. You will become, you can become top ranker with an academy. So without doing any late, you can join with us in our plus course. We already started batches for Complete preparation, being a plus subscriber for you, complete syllabus will be covered, tips and tricks will be given from your top educators, topic wise practice papers, questions will be given to you, full length mock test will be conducted for you, you can become top ranker without any doubt. So if you want to learn with me in plus course, use my code that is Imran Live. If you want to get me as your badge educator, in your journey of Karnataka set 2021, use my code that is Imran Live. By using my code, you will get 10% off in your fees also. This is not only for biology, this is for complete set of your preparation, includes physics, chemistry, mass, biology. Right. Without doing any late, we will start our session. Always keep liking this video and keep sharing this video link with your friends. Your knowledge always will increase when you share your knowledge. Right. Invite your friends also. Let them also join together. We will learn with more members. Learning with more members always give positive energy. Right. So we are dealing with class 12 NCRT chapter number 6 that is reproduction. In that we are dealing with chapter number 3 human reproduction. You no need to worry. All topics will be covered. Sexual reproduction, flowering plants also will be covered. Reproductive health also will be covered. 
and recently we have completed chapter number one reproduction organisms you can watch it later from our profile in youtube right so we will completely cover entire unit of reproduction also we will cover entire chapters from class 11 12 you no need to worry all syllabus will be covered so in this session we are going to start chapter number three human reproduction in this chapter in this special session we are going to discuss about male reproductive system also we will deal entire syllabus you no need to worry right during live session whatever doubts you have you can comment below and even if you are watching offline also not in live also you can comment your doubts sure i will try my best to give you a 100% clarification right so this is the internal structure of male reproductive system if we make cross section you can find this kind of structure inside the male reproductive system here you can observe this is the urinary bladder and this is the pubic bone which develops strongly after reaching the puberty in the case of male also female also it is present and this is the start of penis from where the penis starts developing and these are the ligaments from where the glands like bulbothra glands seminiferous glands and the penis attached this is the membrane which surround the penis for production and this is the external urethral sphincter which control the action of releasing the urine it is connected with our brain central nervous system from the signal which it receives from central nervous system that is brain this sphincter acts like opening and closing and this is the penis highly muscular stretchable and this is the corpus chiosorum that is inner part of the penis and this is the glans penis the bulb like structure at the tip of the penis and this is the foreskin the foreskin helps in covering of glans penis from infections and this is the urethral opening also it is common opening for urethra semen and sperm also right when we discuss about digestion and absorption there we will discuss about the large intestine in the large intestine we have sigmoid colon which is fold in structure then we will discuss about rectum deeply in our digestion and absorption here we will just understand the structure what is situated in female reproductive part this is anterior front region and this is posterior back region and we have seminal vessels which release semen in male and it is ejaculatory duct ejaculatory duct it stimulates the penis while sexual intercourse it is completely connected with human brain when a male gets sexual desires the ejaculatory duct it stimulates also it helps in releasing of sperms through urethra the ejaculatory duct everything we will discuss you no need to worry so it is better from come from downside so here you can observe this is the scrotum it is a bag like structure small sac like structure which cover both testes about scrotum also we will show you no need to worry right i am just here giving general discussion i am just giving you small introduction about the male reproductive system in upcoming slides you will get complete theory complete explanation also here just i am giving you simple explanation right so the scrotum is sac like structure which hold the testes testes are situated in the scrotum and always the testes are situated in all mostly mammals extra abdominal cavity that means outer part of the abdominal cavity not inside the abdominal cavity why we will study in upcoming slides right epidermis epidermis is a part of testes after production of sperms inside the testes the epididymis help in storing of sperms right next we have vas deferens from vas deferens the sperms will carry out towards urethra 
the urethra is common passage for urine as well as sperms and semen also right so everything we will study what are corpus gland what is prostate gland everything we will study hope you got general idea what are the major parts of male reproductive system the male reproductive system consists of pair of testes the testes situated extra abdominal cavity inside the scrotum right and consists a penis which is highly muscular stretchable also contain some glands like seminal gland bulbothral gland so about these all glands we will study very deeply and do you know the testes are also called as gonads gonads in the case of female also we call gonads female gonads are ovary male gonads are testes hope you will not get confused in your future right so always keep liking this video keep sharing this video link with your friends always ask your doubts whatever you have regarding the same topic i am here to make everything clear i am sure i can give you promise there should not be doubts remain in your mind related with same topic that is the reason we have to watch until the session up to end of the session right let's understand better this is the penis gland this is the bulb like structure which is situated tip of the penis and this is urinary bladder urinary bladder helps in storing of urine but it won't act in reproduction so this is the corpus cavernosum situated inside the penis at this region and this is the entire penis right and this is the urethra from where the urine the urethra through urethra urine and semen including sperms also will pass and these are the scrotum the scrotum is a sac like structure which hold both testes right inside the scrotum testes are two in number right epidermis it is a highly coiled epidermis which store the sperms do you know the sperms will be continuously produced inside the testes but it won't excrete i mean it won't release outside of the body continuously so that is the reason it has to store for a long time until the sperms will be released sperulation releasing of sperm from the penis is called sperulation sperulation will not take place generally right so it has to be stored for a long time that is the major function of epidermis to store the sperms for a long time later through vas difference vas difference the sperm will send into the urethra then the urethra will carry sperm towards outside of the penis hope you got a small idea right yes so these all things we have already discussed in this session i just show you the enlargement view of male reproductive system so this is posterior region if you observe from below side this is the posterior region of male reproductive system consists of penis and the urethral opening so this blue colorly marked one urethral opening right urine sperm and semen will be passed out right then these are the sperm ducts which carry out sperms from the penis so these are the sperm ducts the sperm ducts are two in number the testes which release sperm the sperm will be carry out through sperm ducts hope you got idea hope there are no issues the doubt whatever you got immediately you can comment below i am here to make everything clear including if you are watching offline also sure i will make you full of clarity right let's understand deeply about the primary sex organs which involve in reproduction in the case of male the gonads are testes the testes are paired testes are paired in male in most of the mammals testes are extra abdominal extra abdominal means outside of the abdomen cavity because sperm production 
maturation and storage it requires 2 to 3 degrees lower temperature than body temperature generally the sperm's production occur inside the testis for production of healthy sperm for production of healthy sperm it requires 2 to 3 degrees lower temperature than body so inside the body if you have for example 42 degrees of temperature in your testis it should be 2 or 3 degrees less temperature that means 39 or 40 degrees temperature should be there in your testes if you have body 42 degrees of temperature why the reason is for production of sperm growth of sperm and storage of sperm so it requires less temperature 2 to 3 degrees than entire body temperature so that is the reason this is situated outside of the abdomen cavity scrotum is a bag like sac like structure which holds the testes it provides a favorable environment for healthy sperm production the scrotum which protects the testes it always provides a healthy and a favorable environment for healthy sperm production do you know inside the testes sperms will produce and they will become motile in epididymis they will become strong in epididymis right testes in male formed during the embryonic development at the age of seven to eight months in intra abdominal cavity later it convert into scrotum do you know in the case of males male when they are developing inside the mother's womb in embryonic stage that means inside the mother womb seven to eight months age the testes starts growing inside the abdomen cavity hope you are understanding clearly the testes in fetus from the month of seven to eight it starts growing that is inside the abdominal cavity but later after birth they will be converted into scrotum from the birth itself scrotum is present but the month of seven eight they start developing inside the abdomen cavity later at the age of ninth month or after delivery of the baby it will be converted into scrotum correct clear understanding yes but i'm not getting likes on screen yes always keep liking also keep sharing this video link with your friends also yes. let's understand a deep view about the testy this is the testes if you observe closely if you remove the scrotum when you become a top doctor when you are making postmortem or any surgery that time you can see so no need to wait until then i will show you all human organs right hope you are enjoying the seeing images also right so this is the testes inside the testes the small testicular lobules are present testes contain testicular lobules i will write here testicular lobules Right? The testicular lobules are like compartments so like compartments there are so many testicular lobules are present the number also will represent you you no need to worry and this is the vast difference here we have epididymis this region which store the sperms inside the epididymis the sperms will become motile there the growth of flagella start developing inside the epididymis then later it will be transferred through vas efferentia vas differentia it will be enter into urethra through urethra it will be ejaculated clear so this is the very deep cross section of testes so this region i will mark with different color let's understand better I'm marking here with green color so this entire long region it is known as epididymis this is known as epididymis where the sperm stores and these are the testicular lobules which are highly coiled coiled means they are like very round structure coiled structure 
so these are the testicular lobules inside the testicular lobules inside we have seminiferous lobules seminiferous lobules are present inside the testicular lobules oh this is clear the testicular lobules are present inside the testis so the middle region we call reti testis Reti testi is a part of inside the testis. By seeing the reti testi, don't get confused. The testis and reti testis both are same. Don't feel like that. The reti testi is a part of inside the testis. Right? Clear? Shall we go forward? Yes, I am not able to see your comments on the screen. Always keep liking. Keep sharing this video link. Also, keep commenting. Right? Let's understand deeply about Testes, they are the male reproductive system. The testes are situated outside of the abdominal cavity. Of course, in a pouch, inside the a pouch, also we call a sac, also we call that is called scrotum. You can observe here the structure of scrotum. Right? So the line which is dividing both testes, right testis and left testis called raphe. Raphe is a middle line, raphe, which divides the both testes, right? And this is the scrotal septum also we call raphe scrotal septum, which divide right side and left side testes. Right. So this is the enlargement view of testes. These are the epidermis which store the sperm, right? This is the testes. And testes have lymphatic vessels. I will show you previous diagram. So these are the lymphatic vessels where the lymph is stored. Also, these help in carrying the sperm outside. Clear? Right? So in this diagram, I have represented so many examples, so many exactly part of testis so this much we no need to go for our class 12 ncrt this is highly enough this is not included in our ncrt also but if you know it will be better for solving your mcq that is the reason i have represented here right let's understand the scrotum helps in as i just mentioned before maintaining the low temperature of the testis that is exactly 2 to 2.5 degrees celsius it should be lower than the body temperature if the body temperature is 40, testis should maintain 38. If the body temperature temperature is 30, testis should, should be 28. Otherwise, they cannot produce healthy sperm. And internal body temperature, it should be lesser than 2 to 2.5 temperature. It is necessary for spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is nothing but production of sperm. Sperms are male gametes which are responsible for fusion of male and female gametes and as well as formation of zygote also right in adults each testi is generally oval in shape with a length of about 4 to 5 centimeter length and 2 to 3 centimeter width length is 4 to 5 centimeter and the width is 2 to 3 centimeters in adult one, not in the case of kids. It will be continuously developing up to the age of 13 or 14. When the puberty starts, that means reaching after 13 or 14 years, the male testis starts production of sperms. The testis covered by a dense covering layer. The testis covered by a dense covering called tunica albuginea. Tunica albuginea, sorry, albuginea, these are the tissues which cover testes. They protect testes. Each testes, if you observe under microscope, about 250 compartments are present. They are called as testicular lobules inside the testes of each testis. Generally, male adult has two testes. I am discussing about single testes. Each testis contains 25 compartments of testicular lobules. It is very important thing. Question also can be framed from this exactly top, from the view of case at 2021. Each lobule contains one or from one to three. Each testicular lobule contains one, two or it can be three. Highly coiled seminophorous tubule in which 
स्पिम और प्रोड्यूसर स्पिम ऑलवेज प्रोड्यूसड इन सेमिनोफरस ट्यूब्यूल द सेमिनोफरस ट्यूब्यूल्स आर हाईली कॉइल्ड प्रेजेंट इन टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स ईच टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स कंटेन्स टू और थ्री सेमिनोफरस लोब्यूल्स राइट एंड द टेस्टिकुलर लोब्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट अराउंड 250 कंपार्टमेंट्स इन ईच टेस्टिकल सो आई विल मेक अ रफ डायग्राम हियर टेस्टी इज ओवल शेप हियर राइट आई विल चेंज कलर आल्सो फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंड these are the testicular lobules of around 250 number roughly i am drawing here these are the testicular lobules present inside the testi if you make it zoom of one testicular lobule there you will find two to three highly coiled seminiferous lobules so from each testicular lobule you will find two or three highly coiled testicular lobules sorry seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules present in each testicular lobules these are about 250 number present in each testi hope you have got full clarity right seminiferous tubules are highly coiled situated in the each testicular lobules they are two or three number each testicular lobule situated inside the testi they are 250 number in each testi right clear length of one seminiferous tubule is about 70 cm they are highly coiled that is the reason we are unable to observe properly but once you make it outside remove outside and once you observe under microscope it is about 70 cm each seminiferous tubules do you know in the case of bull bulls right in the case of bull the seminiferous tubule size is about 5.2 km if you make it enlarge in the case of bulls the seminiferous tubule size is about 5.2 km right so it is wonderful right each seminiferous tubule is lined on its inside by two types of cells each seminiferous tubule it is lined by two types of cells called male germ cells that is called as spermatogonia and setoli cells each seminiferous tubules they are contain two types of cells type 1 male germ cells and type 2 setoli cells what are the functions we will study everything the male germ cells undergo meiotic division they go under meiotic division finally leading to sperm formation the germ sperm the germ cells will form sperm cells the germ cells only later convert into sperm i'll write here the germ cells later convert into sperm remember it don't get confused and the second type of cells called setoli cells they provide nutrition to the germ cells inside the seminiferous tubules the region outside the seminiferous tubules called interstitial spaces the region which is situated outside of the seminiferous tubules called interstitial spaces it contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells also we call leydig cells the leydig cells or interstitial cells present outside of the space the space which is situated outside of the seminiferous tubules leydig cells synthesize and secrete testicular hormones called androgens it is very important thing it can be framed as a question from the view of case at 2021 the androgen secreted inside the testes by leydig cells the leydig cells they synthesize and they secrete testicular hormones called androgen clear right so here the enlargement view of testes you can see so these are the parts of testis each testi i am showing you so this is the scrotum a sac like structure finally i will give one small recap this is the scrotum right which cover testis and the head of epidermis this is the head of epidermis and this is the tail of epidermis this entire region is epidermis which contains sperms which are converted to motile and they are strong cells right 
these are the tunica albuginea which cover entire testy so this black region is tunica albuginea it protect the testes and these are the seminiferous tubules situated in each compartment of testicular lobule so here you can observe the testicular lobule so they are about 150 in each we cannot represent 150 right so you will get confused so that is the reason we have presented in diagram 1 2 3 4 only few so it will be about 250 compartments of testicular lobules right and each testicular lobules contain 2 2 3 2 or 3 seminiferous tubules inside the seminiferous tubules we have two types of cells germ cells later convert into sperm cell and the sertoli cell which provide nutrition to germ cell with the help of sertoli cells the germ cell sorry germ cells convert into sperm right clear so this is the epididymis here it is connected with nerve and blood vessels here the vast difference is present from where the sperm will be collected and entered into urethra right so you can observe here the production of sperm the production of sperm occurs inside the testicular lobule we have two to three seminiferous lobules the seminiferous lobules produce germ cells and sertoli cells from here it is the reti testis which is present inside the testy then it will enter into the epididymis which store sperm until to be ejaculated then through the vas efferens vas deferens it will be ejaculated outside so hope you are liking the diagram this beautiful animation i have brought for you so keep liking keep sharing your knowledge be positive always right so session is completed in next session 5th october we will meet with we will continue the topic also so you can watch my regular classes in an academy learning app download from play store open in your smartphone tab etc search your goal as karnataka set once you type karnataka you will find karnataka cet common entrance test and choose your language as english and verify with your phone number and email this is necessary to post your comments to ask your doubts and you can interact with your educators during live session without <clears throat> without verifying phone number or email you cannot ask your doubts right and follow my profile in an academy learning app not only my profile follow your favorite educators profile from an academy learning app you will get upcoming free live classes notification also you will find previously completed topics which will help you a lot for your complete preparation right if you are watching for the first time this is for you we have best plans for karnataka set preparation you can choose 12 months plan 6 months plan also you can pay like per month emi also the price also included here it is very affordable you can choose being a plus subscriber you will get premium content at very low and affordable price you can learn from your house you can sit and learn from your house it is a wonderful opportunity you no need to leave your parents no need to go anywhere no need to waste your time money also you will get structured live courses dedicated live doubt clearing session for your complete preparation there you will get 100% doubt clarification you will get quiz at regular and interval session we already started batches for complete preparation you can join with us in plus course test series daily practice papers full length mock test you will get for your complete analysis single subscription for unlimited access you can become top ranker with an academy so this is already completed very soon you can go to www.anacademy.com there you will find all fee structure also this is already expired september 30 already expired so complete syllabus will be covered tips and tricks given by your topic debaters topic wise question paper will be given practice full length mock test will be conducted you can join with us in plus course and if you want to learn with me in plus course use my code imran naim by using my code you will get complete set of your preparation include physics chemistry maths biology also you will get 10% off in your fees don't forget to subscribe an academy kz youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell icon you will get all upcoming free live class notifications right hope you enjoyed the section and we will meet in next section on 5th october have a nice day take care bye